David Cameron sod off with your chuffing election because none of us are interested because you're on a bunch of lawyers. Turn down in streets. London. <laughs> oh dear. Right, so that's... Ooh. Her done. As I said though, I'm going to go over her on the, the gloves and the boots and everything with the white scar just to make sure it's, to make sure that it is actually white. Um, I'll go over it again with Drakenhof Nightshade to give it the blue look. I really do like that look to be honest. Now I just want to touch up a couple of areas with the black <coughs> before I do anything more. So again it's just have it on black. What we're done with it is the um run out on the pan, it's got a little bit more put out. That's it. And we want That bit covered. That bit covered. The the and here we go. It's not. a big deal with this but if we do it now before we forget it will look much better a couple of areas that I did miss when I was doing the harness as you can see um, now that will just coat with the, the white brush but sometimes you only actually see them when they've dried. It looks as though you've covered it all, and then when it's dry, you see them all uh, showing up in all that area I caught with the the brush. I just push that bit out and do under here. And there as well. Just go down here. Next, <coughs> I'm going to be using Drakenhof Nightshade on all the white areas that we've done. I'll probably have a couple of um, coats of this before it's actually built up into how we want it to look. Um, you can see I'm not really being careful about getting this on the black because 
it's a dark enough colour that we can get away without with it going on the black accidentally. I'm trying not to get it on the black, but if it goes on the black, I'm not being um, overly fussed. It's one of those things. Try and be, as always, try and be as neat as you can when you're doing things like this. It does help. But sometimes you can't actually um, can't actually help what happens. There we go, just a little bit more, not on that much. It's just this belt. Back of the I'll go over that part and then this glove and Finally, this shoulder pad. Okay, just make sure that all the white is covered with the blue. We will have to come back and do another coat of this. I probably won't do that on camera, I'll just do that and then you can see what it's like afterwards. Next, what I want to do is <coughs> using null oil. We'll go over her clothes is this well if there's any areas where I've not it's not covered terribly well it will get into the recesses and do its job um, especially in areas where I can't actually get up properly um, So that's all the clothes being done in null nile. One other area being done in null nile. Did he guess right? I'm not going to touch her face yet with a wash. Um, so I want to leave the hair, have the wash for her to dry fully before I do that. I want a very dark colour for her hair and I want it to look as though obviously it's not natural but I want it to look as though it's not natural if you get me drift. Now let's have a shufty that's uh, Right, I've basically ruined her face, so let's 
let's go with again the Kis is it Kisla flesh one that we use for a face Just go roll over a face, you're trying to tidy up around the hair. <clears throat> Once that's done I can go at it again with a wash. How's the hair looking? It's not looking too bad, is it? I mean, it would be nice if we could get a really pale blue. Um, let's try. Really vivid, in your face, palish blue. I will try, try to mix anything like that, it just turns like a greyish colour. I'm think I've got in my head Gary Newman Berserker era. That kind of blue. If you've not a clue, Google it. If you remember it, don't bother. You know what I mean. A couple of strands of hair down here that haven't been highlighted, which I've just noticed. Rather well, not been highlighted, or the highlights just not taken to them. There we go. And I just realised as well, somewhere in the there's an ear. Right, that's that done. Let us now <clears throat> have a look at this and see if you know, the hair's not quite dry enough yet to add anything to. But what we can do while we're waiting is using the Warplock bronze, which I said I was going to. Oh god, I've just dropped it all over the pigging carpet. Right. right, let's see if I can do this without dropping it, breaking something. I've had enough today, really I've had enough today. But the one today is over with. Not that anything unpleasant's happened, I've just been in that kind of... Should be one of those days, you know what I mean?
was going up uh, getting up early to put my phone back on my uh, best charging base ended up on the floor on top of my uh, office chair it's been one of me one of my fibromyalgia clumsy days I think today I was terrified of touching anything at the, at, uh, the hospital when I was doing my show in the studio Thankfully, I don't think I broke anything though this week. So we're just we're not doing as you may be able to see we're not doing a, um, a complete coverage of this we're just it's like a very heavy dry brush if anything else we're leaving on some of the black showing um, we're not covering every part of it um, yeah, that's by design I don't want every part of it looking um, that's not good. I don't want to have a part of it being covered because it well, sometimes you know when you've got something really nice and neat and perfect it doesn't look it doesn't look right if you know what I mean like especially when I'm doing metal like this I don't like to use um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't like to use, you know, a proper even full coat. I prefer using do having it a little bit patchy. Oh dear! I need some more kitchen towel. Problem is now I think I've got a clean patch on my carpet. Good job the carpet's black. <laughs> oh, how's she looking? Not too bad. Okay, we'll give her a time to dry and we'll come back to um, the blue J with some Reichland flesh shade and we'll go over her face again. Um, I don't like her left eye. It, uh, it doesn't seem moulded properly. And remember, I need to do the her jeans as well, don't I? Oops. So we will do her uh, jeans. And we're going to do the jeans in Drakenhof Nightshade, obviously. In fact, no, we're not. We're going to do it in Gwilym and Blue. We'll do the glaze that we used for her hair. I 
I think I'm going to get out the iron breaker again. Man, you saying that is this dry? Not quite enough at the moment, but it's dry around the face enough that I can use that I can give it a wash. So we'll do that first of all. I'm not forgetting her uh, dollies. I don't think this Reckland flesh head is dark enough for the uh, Kisler flesh. I can break a time. Yay! And for this, it's going to be a dry brush. Not a really strict dry brush. I'm just going to push that out of the way for a minute while I just get some paint on my brush. And hopefully, I can see what I mean now with this. Unfortunately, as I said, the plastic is very bendy and isn't allowing any resistance. I'm just trying to keep my finger behind it so I can have something to lean on, which is all well and good. That's when you start painting your finger instead of the model. And almost finished. You see, I've not got, not covered all the black. I've not covered all the um, what you call it, warplot bronze. I've just put them on in order to add a little more colour into the metal areas. There we go. Now One area of this we will be doing in a very, very, very it was like fl uh, flattish colour, and that is the blades here. And they're going to be done in moonfang steel. Doesn't look as though it's mixed terribly well, so let's give it another shake. Maybe I should put this in something in this to act as an agitator. <clears throat> and we'll just go over the blades and make sure that these are.
covered well. We're also going to give the blades a glaze of the um, Willow and Blue. I do quite like the Willow and Blue on top of the silvery colour. It just brings out a little something in the silver. There we are. <coughs> and <coughs> that's that done. Next what we're going to be using is not that one. A little bit of Evil Sun Scarlet. We'll be having this, I hear you ask. Yes, I say. <laughs> yes, we're having it on her her. It's just towards the tops of her herb. We don't want it going all the way down. I do to try and make it look as though her is bright, much brighter at the top than it is towards the bottom. And we will be going over with other colours as well. We're not just stopping with the these two reds. <coughs> because now we're going to be using Troll Slayer Orange. I'll be using that on the very top edges of her hair, or top ridges of her hair. There we are. And now what I'd like to do, just for the sake of shade Divilnut, Abaddon Black, that bit of her there is going to be We've seen the the ones who have black hair with a, a red streak, and this is going to be red hair with a black streak. In fact, no, it's not. I don't like it now. Well, that doesn't look too bad. I wipes it off. Okay. So that's that done. What I'm going to be doing now is highlighting her top. I'm using the bluish grey colour that we used on uh, Blue Jay's um, jacket just to go over. Certain areas of spiders. Clothing. I 
and again I don't want it looking too obvious I just want a little bit of a hint that there is something there going to go over that bit a bit there and then I'll add just a little bit of just to grey it down a little bit I'll just do a few marks there and yeah. okay next <clears throat> now we have um Screaming Skull and we're just going to go into the eye socket here with this and I'm going to try oops the same thing with Blue Jay. I really don't like doing eyes, you may have noticed from other videos. But when there's eyes that's moulded like these are that won't um, What's the word I'm looking for? Ah, uh, so you what I'm doing. Now I've messed it up completely, I'll paint the whole eye socket in black. And then come along with the colour for her iris and do a little bit, not colour for the whites of her eye. And then do a little bit here in the with that. Okay. So we'll see if we can get that done this time. <laughs> That looks truly awful, doesn't it? I will go back and 
right, I'm now going to go back with the... Oh dear God, what's it called? Reckon Flesh Shade, let's see if we can sort out that. That's not Reckon Flesh Shade, that's Greg Brown. I'd have probably gone ballistic if I'd have not noticed. <laughs> And here we go again. I'll just try now to disguise the fact that I can't do eyes by just keep painting and washing over the face in the hope that it becomes less noticeable. Because the eyes let it down all the time. What am I doing that for? I just need to just go over that edge a little bit with the um, iron breaker. As you can see, a little bit of red on it. There we go. I will carry it through on here. Now for the final touch with spider. In fact, I saw this, I said I wasn't going to do it, but I might as well do it while we're here. Dracken off nightshade. that and then we'll go with willow and blue on the blades as I said earlier because well, I really just like the willow and blue on the I'm going to leave it there now and then come back and get the skin tones and try and sort out the eyes in our next video. So, I hope you've enjoyed this so far. So, try and get the skin tone sorted out on Spider um, and try and get the eyes done on them both. And then we can make a start on orangutan. So, until next time, as always, take care, God bless, and bye for now.